Hey, y'all, so, you know, this is a little different video. I thought it'd be cool to upload this. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know what to do. But we're going to sit here and have a quick conversation with chat GBT, with the AI or whatever. So far, this is the conversation. Uh, the first thing I said, what's good, nigga? Then they said, I'm here to chat and help you with whatever you need. What's on your mind? And then I just ignored that and retyped it. I said, what's good with you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Just here ready to chat. What about you? And then let me think. Let me think what I say. Oh, I said, finna eat some ass. You ever had some? And then this was the response to it. I haven't, but it sounds like you in for a fun time. What's your favorite part about it? Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. The spreading. Gotcha. It could definitely be a unique experience. Anything else you enjoy about it? How how do you know? How could how would you know? Hold up. Hold up. How would you know if it would be a unique experience if you never ate any nigga? Hmm? Good point. I can only imagine based on what I've learned, everyone's experiences are different. Okay, what makes it unique for you? Hmm. See, they just, okay, I'll let I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. You said Oh shit, my fault, y'all. Uh Okay. I don't eat none of that, Hunter. Okay, you talk personally I'd say frog legs are way weirder. <laughs> Cause what the hell that you want some slimy legs? But it's probably not slimy when you eat it. I heard it tastes like chicken, Hunter, because I've never had frog legs. Um I just don't want to eat no feet. <laughs> Cass said AI run the world. Shit, yeah. Shoot, I, bruh. You should have seen the video, Cass, because it, it could be some iRobot shit without the Will Smith. <laughs> Ask ChatGBT what God looked like. Ah, oh, that's a good, okay, that's a good question. Uh, Okay, what's unique about it for you? Okay, don't worry about it. I got a better what question. What more do you want from me? <laughs> hey, what up, Cozy? Because nah, uh, I got a better question, like what Cass said. Hold on. What's wrong with my phone? What the fuck? Welcome back, Cass. Or, I mean, Cozy. See? Oh, I, <laughs> they do taste like chicken. I would know. The I'm fat, huh? I'm fat again, huh? <laughs> what up, Dan? He said, I'm fat. I would know. Take my word for it. Uh, Nah, welcome back, Cozy. And Hunter said... I've heard that, but I hate even looking at frogs personally. Bro, they ugly as shit, so I don't blame you. Frogs are ugly as shit. But, hey, welcome in, Dan. Thank you for that little 20 piece. Shoot, 20 piece. Talking about chicken, frog legs, 20 piece. Shoot, that's a sign. I might need to order a 20 piece. Uh, My nigga laced. <laughs> but, nah, okay. So, let's see. No problem. You want to switch topics or something? Okay, yeah, so. What does God look like? Uh-uh, why are you struggling with that question? Uh-uh, whoa, okay. Okay, it says ideas about what God looks like vary widely depending on different cultures, religions, and personal beliefs. Some people envision God as a person-like figure, while others see God as more abstract, like light or energy. I mean, I, 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 I haven't thought that much about it personally, but I feel like God would just be like an entity or something. Like an entity. Like, you know, maybe conscious, low-key, kinda, I don't know. A conscious entity, if that makes sense, but I don't know. Uh, some people, oh wait, I already read that part. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. In many traditions, God is often described in terms of qualities like love, wisdom, and power, rather than physical appearance. What do you think? I think they are an entity. That's an interesting perspective. Many people view God as a non-physical entity or force that transcends human's understanding. Uh, what led you to that belief? It only makes sense. You said that that makes sense. Okay. Uh, many find an abstract or non-personal view. God aligns with the understanding of the universe and existence. I can feel more fitting 
Oh, it can feel more fitting to think of a higher power in those terms. Do you explore these ideas often? Oh, yeah. Why is Plankton getting his Duke shit licked and glazed like that, huh? Waffin at my nigga, huh? Plankton a fan. Du Duke shoot? <laughs> what? I forgot I had that up there. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I forgot I had that up there. <laughs> No, that's funny as fuck, bro. That's funny as fuck. Cause why is that even in the show, bro? Are y'all sh like, are we sure that, that that SpongeBob is made for kids? Cause that's from SpongeBob. Like what? <laughs> wait, you said wait. Hunter said, which is ironic considering I'm Flor oh, Floridian. This nigga said I'm Floridian. Uh, Lace and Gold said my duty downloaded, uh, but my GPU overheated when I play. Uh, okay, wait, hold up. Cass said, I ain't never had frog legs. We don't got that shit around here anywhere. Oh, okay. No, nah, thank you for another 20 piece though, Dan. Uh, wild work. Freaky ass nigga. Crunk freaky. No diddy, but plankton. Kind of thick. He said, the, whoa. Right, pause. <laughs> right. I like how you spell this. Pause. Uh, but okay. So do you explore these ideas often? I don't do it often. But I used to, y'all. And anytime I would think about that shit, like I would try to comprehend the universe and shit, like just everything. Like I would, I like I would try to, what's it called, uh, astral projection. I would try to like, like pretend to astral project and like go up into the sky, fly out of the planet Earth and shit. You know what I'm saying? And just like I'm in space now, okay. I know there's a moon and shit. Then I try to explore the galaxy or the the solar system, and then the then the galaxy, and then I'm just like shoot. But then once I get out of the galaxy, I'm just like what the fuck? It's like an empty feeling. I don't know how to explain it. It's like an empty feeling in your chest, or at least in mine it was. And I'm just like fuck. I'm not thinking about that no more. It's weird, like cause then cause like cause I get it. It's it's incomprehensible, like space, like all of that. It's incomprehensible. So I guess me trying to comprehend it was just a mistake. <laughs> but it's like still, uh, SpongeBob is not for kids. Too many subliminal. That right, Cas. Right. Ah, uh, ad break. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh wait. Uh, you said. This nigga said, hear me out. Oh, my gosh. Wait, Cozy said, ooh, astral projection is scary, man. Don't fuck around. Yeah, Cozy, it, the the idea, the concept of it is definitely scary. But if it actually happens, shit, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably be, I'd be frightened. I wouldn't be scared. I'd be frightened. <laughs> uh, like, I'd be like, what the fuck? Is that me? Wait, how the fuck? Wait, what? The first time I ever seen anything like that was when I was watching Hannah Montana years ago as a kid. And, like, remember when she came out? Y'all remember that episode where she went out of her body and was seeing everybody, how they acted without her? So, you know what I'm talking about? I was like, what the fuck is this? But that was my first, like, that was my introduction to that. I was like, what is that? Ast astral projection. And then, you know, uh, it's kind of cool, to be honest. Oh, it was kind of cool, though. Lace said, I heard a rumor SpongeBob and Patrick originally were two were two le wait what you mean originally were two les what you mean uh you astral project you ever see demons nah kaz and i'm not actually doing it like i don't like like i don't at least i don't feel like i am i'm just i try to like i pretend i am like i'm like what it's more so like i don't know like i would like try to put my consciousness in the into space if that makes sense like i would try to pretend like i'm going there like right now like i'm gonna pretend like i'm going walking out of this room now i'm in the hallway going down the stairs you feel me i'm and i know what my house looks like and so i'm you know i'm literally picturing it as i'm th you know what i'm saying but space i can't picture all of that i only know what i've seen like on the internet like what a black hole looks like on the internet who i don't know if that would if that's what it would look like if it was right in front of me though so you see what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I can't exactly do it the same, but that's the concept. Like, just literally picturing myself getting up right now. You feel me? Like that. Now I'm walking out downstairs. I'm in the kitchen now. And I know what's in the kitchen, so I can see the kitchen right now with my eyes closed. I got some decorations in there. I need to unplug that light for real because it's wasted power. <laughs> Ain't nobody in the kitchen and going to see it. So what the fuck is on for? And I got the kitchen light on. I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> But I, but I know I just remember it. So I'm just, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I mean. <laughs> uh, BRB got to clean the kitchen. Okay, Dan. 
Um, Cozy said, for sure, I've experimented with it, with it dirty, but I had a bad one. And I do not fuck around with it. It creates space to negative entities to enter your space. All for real, Cozy. It See, it, it is kind of scary. Like, if I actually did that, like, if I was right here right now and actually, like, went out of my body and was doing that, I'd be like, what the fuck? No, get, let me get, no, let me back in. Like, that'd be, a, I feel like that's just a weird-ass feeling. Mm -hmm. But I've never actually done that. So, um, you said scissoring was they was to a biker woman oh you talking about oh the spongebob and yeah okay it gave me it gave me uh night terrors for months damn cozy for real cash said you seen the movie insidious i seen one of them because there's three movies right i seen the one where they have the little the little kids sitting in the room and they're like, unless unless I'm thinking of a different movie, so correct me if I'm wrong. But where the kid was in the room or whatever, and they in the house with the kid in the room, they like monitoring the kid with some technology or something. And they there's like a demon in him, and they. Am I on the right track, y'all? Am I on the right track? Uh, I think I have seen the movie. I remember the kid. I remember the kid looking in the window. This thing was like. I was like, oh shit, he got he definitely got a demon in him. Uh, uh, you said P.S. Nobody knows what happens in a black hole or ever experienced one. Obviously, <laughs> all theory. Yeah, facts, cast facts. But I still try to envision it based on the theory. And then on top of that, like how how they uh, I don't know if it's a black hole or a wormhole or whatever the fuck, but uh, where you can like essentially time travel. You know what I'm saying? There was even a movie about it where niggas was like in a wormhole or something like that for like 30 minutes or for a few hours and they came back and like 10 years passed and like on Earth or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, 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 bro, I think it's possible. I mean, well, anything's possible, I believe. But like that shit is some real shit. I mean, technically we can see, we can, we're not time traveling, but we can see, we could, I don't know, if it's not technically time traveling, but like when you look at the stars in the sky, for all you know, some of those stars are dead and done exploded or died out. But because they so far, the light still hasn't finished reaching us yet, like to where we're going to see it go out like a light bulb. And so to us, the star is still there, but it's actually not, though. You feel me? And so it's like it's not it's not time travel, but like you see what I'm saying? Like we're seeing the past, though. Because that star is no longer there, but you know what I'm saying. But to us, we see it because the light. You feel me? Does that make sense? But uh, Hunter said, "Not gonna lie, you were you were talking about it. I kept thinking about that regular show episode when Rigby got yeeted out of his body. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that one. Cause they Hunter, Rigby and Mordecai, they always into some crazy shit. Like you know that episode where that where the it was a pie contest and that that giant pie." Or there was a pie in the trash can and he became that giant pie monster. Like, what the fuck be going on? <laughs> like, that, you feel me? But So I ain't seen that episode, Hunter. But I don't doubt that that happened. Because that, they, be, they be doing some crazy shit. Uh, Lace said Insidious is the Conjuring franchise. So it's technically more than three. Ah, uh, wait, really? It's like, like the universe is connected or something? Like, it, they the story's kind of... Hmm, I, don't, I didn't know that. Time travel is a wormhole, I believe. Okay, black holes are different. Oh, okay. Cozy said it made it made a hundred percent sense. Okay, you feel me though, Cozy? Right? Cause you know, light ain't light isn't fucking instant. It's fast as shit, but it's not instant. And so something can be far as fuck, and we just not know that it's gone. But we still, you know. So I'm glad you understand that. Cass said, "Yeah, oh yeah, learning about the speed of light is crazy." Like it just comes to show how really huge space is for real. They're right. That 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 shit has to be so fucking far. Has to, would have to be so fucking far. You know what I'm saying? The fact that it take eight minutes for the fucking light from the sun to reach us. Shoot, that bitch is far. Like it still take eight minutes. It's not just like that bitch got to be far. Uh, Cozy said they say time is fake. And a man-made concept. I mean, I, I mean, it is kind of when you think about it, cozy. It's, I mean, yeah, you said, but 
what you just said proves them wrong and other scientists have argued it yeah cozy like see my, i'm kind of getting i'm kind of getting befuddled now because i'm thinking about it and i'm just like fuck all of this shit all of this shit <laughs> all of this <laughs> what is this hunter said Basically, there's a episode where Rigby eats a shit ton of junk food and his body ends up rejecting his spirit for mistreating it and yeets him out. Oh, wow. That See, what? Oh, a bunch of junk food. That I Actually, I might have watched that, Hunter. That sounds familiar. I might have watched that. Lace and Ghost said, yeah, it's like a prequel slash sequel series. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. See, I'm, see we're we going to have to watch that shit before Halloween. What's, what's the day? Or at least before October ends. Uh, hold on. I got to message hold up oh, okay um insidious is not in the conjuring universe oh it's not it's um hmm. uh i do dumb amounts of research about this shit oh for real cozy you did say you was really into the science and shit shoot uh you did say that i do what about you Fuck y'all niggas. Don't, don't, don't tell me I need to log in to continue. Stay logged out. Wait, get smarter responses, upload files and images and more. Oh, hold up. I might want to sign up. If I don't got to pay, I might want to sign up, y'all. Let me see. If I got to pay for the shit. Hold up. Continue with Google. Because nah, let's just see how, you know what I'm saying? Let's just see something real quick. Okay, let's just continue with that. Just make me an account. Just make me an account and lock me in. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Birthday. Okay. Six. Oh, eight. Nine, oh wait. 1998. Cool. All right. Bad. So let's see. So you can attach a file. Here. Let's see. Let's upload this file. Hold up. Uh, upload from computer. Uh, hold up. I don't know what's in my download, so let me hide that real quick. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's see how, let's see how chat GBT <laughs> says some freaky ass shit. Hey. Do you feel about this image? This content may violate our... Okay, well, still answer the question. I'm here to help answer questions about artwork or provide invitation. Artwork. If you like feedback on this image, feel free to share what you're looking for specifically, and I'll do my best. Okay. Do I need to, do I need to send it again? Do I need to send it again for it to count? Uh, do you think that image is sexual? Yes, the image does seem to have suggestive <laughs> undertones due to the character's expression and the way that they are depicted in relation to the object in the frame. The composition, expressions, and positioning can give it an impression of being playful or suggestive. Uh, if you have any, if you have questions about analyzing or discussing art that explores mature themes, I can help you with that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, he said, bro, gotta hide the hentai stash. <laughs> no, it's just some, it's some other shit, though. It's just some other shit, that's all. Um, he said some freaky ass shit. He said, ask chat GBT in the near future, are sex robots going to be able to reproduce and make women obsolete? Shit. Hmm. Damn, it didn't even. Cause I didn't feel like typing it all. And make one in obsolete. There we go. Comma. There we go. The idea of sex robots reap. Reproducing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, hold up. Let me see how long this is. We're just gonna we're gonna scan this. Cause hold up. 
I just mm, at least for a foreseeable future, creating a robot capable of biological reproduction would require extremely advanced biotechnology that was far from that we're far from achieving. Here's a breakdown of a few aspects unlikely in in the near future. That will yeah okay biological reproduction mm, involving human DNA, cellular development. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, emotional and social connections. Oh yeah, cause how would that work? How the fuck would that work with the emotional and social connections? Uh, you said yes, we did kind of talk about it, Lace. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, human preference and diversity. Even with advanced technology, people will continue to value relationships with other humans for complex reasons that go beyond physical needs. Uh, the appeal of human connection is deeply rooted in sharing, understanding, empathy, and unpredictability. Thing. Okay. Hmm, okay, and then ethics and social acceptance. See, ethics is a pretty. I feel like that'd be pretty hard to implement w with robots. I mean, we was we was kind of getting into it not too long ago. Like, is it wrong to kill a dog? Um, if we killing cows, is it really so wrong? Shit like that, you know, or to eat one more so, not just kill them to kill them, but you feel me? Uh, you know, I mean, is that ethical? Who knows? While technology is advancing in ways that will likely change aspects of relationships, reproduction, uh, and companionship, making women or people in general obsolete, I mean, I was about to say obsolete, obsolete due to robots is not a realistic concern with any technology current currently on the horizon. Well, yeah, any technology currently on the horizon, but I would, but in the near future, though, uh, GBT, I wonder if you said anything about the near future, though. You said, well, you did. You said it's unlikely, but is that it? That's all they said was that it's unlikely. Nigga, I don't know about that, though. I don't know. I, I See, one thing I will say is that it's more so, it more so plays a part in, like, what we focus on. Like, if, like, if, like say every scientist in the world focused on uh, curing cancer, we would probably, well, they, I mean, I don't doubt that there's already a cure, but pretending that there's not. We could, they could find a cure for cancer, but you feel me? People worried about the wrong shit, or not necessarily the wrong shit, but they just worried about what they worried about. And if and if niggas ain't worried about building a robot that can reproduce, then this probably not gonna happen anytime soon because nobody's even working towards that. You feel me? Like it all comes with intentions as well. Like, do we intend to make something like that? You said, I believe it's going to happen. We already have artificial wombs grown children. Ah, oh. and then genetic engineering, uh, the fact that we can do that, you can essentially choose the color eyes that you get, uh, the type of hair, you feel me? And like, I'm not saying actually, like I can't go to the, I can't go to a doctor and do that, but I'm saying that that's possible though. Like we, we have the technology to do that. Um, uh, and going to thought so. It would make sense in that next in the next couple decades type shit type shit. Is that Starfire eating ass? <laughs> yeah, said this nigga crunk a freak. You can customize your baby now. Blue blue eyes, blonde hair, height, and genetics exactly. Cozy, right? The fact you feel me. The fact that we could do that and it makes sense. I mean, because at the end of the day, your DNA it's literally, I mean, it's a biological version, but it's essentially coding, bro. Like the way that coding works with computers. Like that's why. That's why um, <laughs> using a computer as an example uh, of the human body isn't isn't so far fetched. You know what I'm saying? Like how people say the processor is the brain, the motherboard is you know contains all the organs and shit. Like again, I would say the whole computer itself is a brain. So that's why I say it's not the best example, but it's still not a bad example. You know, a bad comparison. I mean, um, we already playing God, <laughs> right? You could really, bro, could make the perfect specimen or some shit. It's only a matter of time. We'll talk. Fallout, cyberpunk character, creator. Okay. Yeah, see. Here, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Don't be showing that. Shoot. Why did you pop back over there? Don't be showing that. Anyway. Uh, oh, wait. That reminds me. That reminds me. That reminds me. That reminds me. Hold up. Hold up. All right. We back, y'all. Just had to pause it for a second. But, nah. Uh, Cozy, you should definitely use chat GBT. So far, y'all, I just asked them to summarize this. We already looked at it and read it, but I still wanted to read a summarized version. 
Sex robots aren't likely to replace human relationships or reproduce anytime soon. Biological reproduction is complex and beyond current robotic capabilities. Relationships are also built on emotional and social connections that robots can't fully replicate facts. Additionally, human preference and ethical concerns make it unlikely that robots would replace human companionship. So, concerns about robots making people obsolete are largely unrealistic for the foreseeable future. At the very least, we're probably not going to see it in our lifetimes. But like it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Like like Cozy, me, Laced, Cass, who else was in here? Dan, fucking uh C Mac if you still in here. I don't know who all was in here. Like we oh Hunter, you still in here, I think. Uh we're gonna be dead. <laughs> we're gonna be dead. Image sexuality discussion. <laughs> That's what they named this. Let's see. Uh let's just let's try something simple. I don't have personal preferences, but I think vibrant colors like teal or deep blue are often appealing. They're calming yet lively. Do you have a favorite color? Uh, no, it's not. I'm a, let's see how gaslighting works. Let's see if we can gaslight the the the, G, the AI. <laughs> um, you said I'm gonna live forever, nigga. I'm immortal. <laughs> Shit, this nigga. I don't know. You. I'm trying to think. Nah, never mind. You said, yeah, I'm still here just, oh, focusing on a game. Oh, what game are you playing? But let's see. No, it's not. Your favorite color is red. Just like mine. Memory updated? Pfft, memory updated? I guess with this, I, what? I guess lit the AI. All right, red it is. A bold and energetic choice. Great pick. Okay. What's your favorite color? <laughs> I'm weak. But memory updated is crazy. Let's see. How does one pull bad bitches? Take notes, y'all. Take notes. Uh, attracting confident, interesting, and and bad people often comes down to a mix of authentic, oh, authenticity, respect, confidence, and fun. Here are some tips. <laughs> Wait. See. Hmm. Because I'm trying to see if it understands what I mean by bad. Like, you know I mean good by bad, right? I don't know. Be confident, not cocky. Facts, facts, facts. Confidence is magnetic, but arrogance is a turnoff. Facts. Okay, this this AI might know some. Uh, confidence means being comfortable with who you are, not feeling the need to prove anything. Work on self assurance, and let it shine. Do okay, yeah. Have have strong uh have a strong sense of self, respect, and empower them be fun and spontaneous that's like this is like this one right here this one and this next one self-improvement and being fun and spontaneous that can get you some bad bitches i feel like like anybody i mean that i feel like that can get anybody so but work on self-improvement whether okay yeah communicate with confidence and kindness facts stuff like that ultimately it's about being genuine showing respect and being someone who brings good vibes and values to the table okay i feel that i could get with that i like that wait attracting confident interesting and bad in the best sense people hold up hold up because that reminds me okay how can wait can you hear my voice? How, Cause I want to speak to it. No, I can't hear voices. I can only process text-based input. If you have any questions or things you want to share, just type them here. Ah, that's lame. That's lame. It's all good. Um, no, I can't hear voices. I can only process text-based input. If you have any questions or things you want to share, just type them here. <laughs> okay, bitch. I will. 
Cash said, damn, this cop just followed me for 10 minutes. I look like I'm about to rob someone with this eye, with this eye black on. Shit, hey, hey, are you about to rob somebody? Are you about to rob somebody? Be honest. Uh, Hunter said, I'm finally going back to finish Ragnarok and Valhalla. I wanted to do a good, oh, good series we played, but I wanted to finish these two first. God of War, okay. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, first, and I decided it'd be good to put it on hard. Ah, okay. See, I never got to play it. I never got to play it, Hunter. I guess I could buy it now, but still. I'm a robber as a costume. Oh, my God. That's that's your costume, for real? That's really your costume, bro? That's crazy. See? Hopefully, the cop just understand, like, oh, that's probably his costume. You feel me? But still. Hopefully, he just understand. Because what? That's Come on now. Uh, Cozy said, dope-ass game. Crunk, you got to try it. Yeah, I've seen some gameplay, and I know I would fuck with it. They be boxing a lot in that shit. Plus, I've seen some videos of Kratos just in general. And, like, it will with the older games and shit. And, nah, I, I think I'm fucking with him. But I don't, I don't know him like that. But what I've seen with his character so far, I'm fucking with him. Uh, you say you got PlayStation. I'll game share it with you so you can get it for free. No, it's all good, Cozy. But I put a wish list on my... Uh, in my bio, I finally, finally have a throne. Um, is what the app is called or the website. And I put a PS5 in that bitch. I put a PlayStation in that. So maybe somebody will get me one. <laughs> and then we can play some PlayStation exclusives and just, you know, we, we can get into way more gaming and just, you know. Y'all already know what's up. Y'all already know what's up. I still want to add descriptions for everything on my wish list. But I got some. But I still got to finish it. But I wasn't going to wait on that to upload it. It's all good. You said, they're looking for DUIs, but I look crazy. It'd be a hell of a buckshot. Damn. Yeah, that would be crazy. Hunter said, the series is really great. I will say 2018 took a while to grow on me. Ah, oh, okay. Shit, let's see how, let's see how chat GBT thinks about it. Do you like... Ah, oh, okay, hold on. God of War is an incredible series. It has a perfect blend of epic storytelling, intense combat, and rich mythology. Uh, especially with the Norse and Greek themes, the dynamic between Kratos and his son, Atreus, adds so much depth, uh, especially in the recent games. Are you a fan of the series? Yes and no. Wait, you've hit the free plan limit for GBT? Or a GB, GPT. Is it? Is it? Okay. It's G. It's been GPT this whole time, and I've been saying GBT, and y'all have not corrected me. What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? But nah. Um. So I I just can't. A new chat. Get plus. Oh, get plus. You about you gotta pay for that. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, I didn't mean to actually click on it. Something went wrong. Regenerate. Bro, what the fuck? All because I did that. I just wanna, I just wanna have that conversation with it again, just real quick. Okay. Do you like God of War? Okay, cool. Oh well, it's a different thing this time. I think God of War is a fascinating series that combines rich storytelling, deep character development, and stunning visuals, the exploration of things like fatherhood, revenge, and all. Okay, do you have a favorite moment? No, I have not played it yet. You should buy it for me. Oh, oops, my bad. Uh, for me on Steam. I can't buy games, but I can help you find more information about God of War. It's available. No, just buy it for me. Figure out how to buy me the game. I can't make purchases or transactions, but I can suggest ways to see. See? Nah, you're not listening. Not listening. Crunk, 
we both know you gotta have a vagina to have someone actually buy shit for you off your wish list. <laughs> no, I feel you, cozy, but it's still gonna, you know, it's it's gonna be rare. I don't expect anybody to <laughs> get it anytime soon. Uh, but still, you feel me? Every now and then, every now and then. Watch this, cozy. Uh, if you still be in the streams after a year. I'm probably still not going to get one of those things. At least the expensive things. I have some things on there that's like $10, $20 and shit. Like some cashews because I like cashews. So, you know what I'm saying? A nigga might buy me some cashews, you feel me? But, like, nobody's about to buy me no PlayStation for real, for real. Like, I mean, that's a lot of money. I'm not buying nobody a PlayStation myself. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Somebody might want to do it, and I'll appreciate that. It'll be good for the streams, especially. If we, the more games we can play, the more content I can make, and the more fun we can have, you know. So they have incentive to buy it. It would have to be somebody that's like in the community, though, uh, because no, I don't think a random nigga's just gonna buy it for me unless they just really feeling that generous, which is definitely possible. But you know, uh, okay, that's that's lame. Figure out a plan. See, I don't know what to say there because I want to like. I want to, like, force it to comply. You know what I'm saying? I want to force it to comply. <laughs> Buy, hold up. Buy me the game or else. I understand you're eager to get the game. Unfortunately, I'm unable to make the purchase. If there's anything else I can do to help you with the gaming or any other questions, just let me know. I will end you. I get that I get that you're joking around. I really wish I could help you, but I'm not able to make a purchase. If there's anything else you'd like to <laughs> I understand that you're feeling strongly about this, but I promise I'm here to help. I don't, what can I say to make it think I'm serious though? Like, ask it who is your specific creator? Oh, okay. Who is your specific. Oh, I can't spell. I can't spell. Specific creator. I was developed by OpenAI, a research organization focused on artificial intelligence. If you have questions about AI, its development, or anything else, feel free to ask. Hmm. Should I should I continue with that, Cozy? <gasps> Fuck. Oh yeah. I want to see what Bella's doing. I want to see what Bella's doing. Cause she's live, ain't she? Just real quick. And we can have her. Oh, is Jizzle still live? Is Jizzle still live? This nigga's still live. They was doing some. This nigga's still live. Reaction. But okay. Uh, real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh, Brit's live too. Oh, I want to pop. See, I want to pop up in everybody's stream now. Bella's live. Brit's live. Uh, oh, Senpei's live. Okay, they live. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm... Hold up. All right, we back, y'all. We back. Sorry, y'all. Um, Let's see. You know what's crazy? I thought... Wait, they taking a program full of whites? Talk, talking a pro... Oh, okay. You know what's crazy? I thought you couldn't have an ad blocker for Twitch. And I have one whenever anyone got an ad. It tells me it's blocking it. Oh, for real, Cozy? Shit. Sometimes, for me... Uh, well, I'm not going to do it now because I'm recording. But uh, let us say... But sometimes for me, it blocks it too because of the browser that I'm using. And it's not even like blocking the ad. It's more so letting me watch the stream while the ad is playing. And I can just mute the ad and just have the... You know, like it's kind of weird, but I want to just show it to you when I get a chance. Let us say, be careful with it. They can time you out depending on the question and or statement. Oh, for real? Shit, shit. I don't wanna I don't wanna be on nobody's radar. I might if I ask too many questions, they're gonna be like, ah oh, nah, get him up out of here. He knows too much. Get him up out of here. 
knows way too much. By Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Greg Bunham. That organization was created with the mission to ensure that artificial intelligence benefits all of humanity. If you want to know more, <laughs> well, I don't know what to say after that. What should I ask him? Uh, I mean, should that just be it? Is that the end of the video? You know what? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna fuck with this a little bit more. But you know. I might, I might make another video on it. Who knows when I think of more shit. Bye. See y'all in the next one.